Good morning, friends. I'm Lauren with This Alaska Life, and this week, I'm home alone. Not really. I am home with the three older boys. They're at school during the day. So from 9.30 in the morning till four o'clock in the afternoon for this entire week, I am home alone. I, well, I'm not home alone. I've got Miss Luna here always watching over me. Hi, Miss Luna. Hi. Yeah. So my mind is kind of reeling, like what am I gonna do with all this time? This, this is maybe a little bit of a preview of what my life will be like a little bit next year when all four boys are in school. Like, can't even imagine. So I've got some spring cleaning on my mind. I got some work that I gotta do. I got a fun thing that I'm about to go do in a few minutes, but I have about 30 minutes. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out some of my bedding. I haven't done this for a couple years, but several years ago I bought spring accents for my bed. And so I think that we'll change it out because that would be fun. <laughs> Bennett went in the basement for me this morning, went and grabbed it. So now I can make a few changes and just, even though it doesn't look like spring outside yet, it will look like spring in here a little bit more. Let's do it. The snow is melting. We've got a big patch of grass there, but not so much there. showing off the new bedding, Luna. All right, that's enough of a change just to like feel like spring. Now let's go put some Easter stuff away. Look how bright the sun shines off the floor in the morning. It's very blinding, but I can't complain because it's sunny. Always checking in on me. That's the girl. You need a treat? You need a treat? There you go. Oh, that's a lot of treats. Lucky girl. So I went to lunch with some girlfriends the other day and we were chatting. Um, I don't know how we got on this topic, but um, my friend said the other day she made it to work. She had a purple jacket, purple shirt, purple water bottle, purple purse. And she realized, man, I need to not buy so much purple. We always, we always joke that that's her power color is this um, kind of this purpley, but maybe a little bit lighter than that. Anyways, and when I look at the majority of my wardrobe, it's like black. Lots of black, lots of dark colors. It's kind of hard for me to branch out from that. Do you find that there's a color scheme that you tend to like gravitate towards for your clothing? I feel like my wardrobe is quite boring. Oh, hello. Hello. You checking out the camera, Luna? So this is kind of a different feeling for me. This is the first time that in probably 12 years, um, that we've had, that our youngest has been old enough to go 
to the cabin with just Mark. And he was all for taking him. He had no, like, it was his idea. He said, I'm going to take Everett. We're going to go for a week to the cabin. The boys have testing at school this week. And so they were all super bummed that they could not go. But um, I just kept saying, you know, we'll have a good time here at home. We'll make sure we make it a good time here at home too. Sorry, Luna is walking around and she's making the thing that is <laughs> holding my camera, like she made it kind of fall, but, oh, now she's running away. There we go. Anyway, so this is just like a strange feeling to me. Usually Mark takes the older boys and goes and does stuff and I'm home with Everett. So it's taken, I've had a few panic moments like, oh wait, what's Everett doing? Oh yeah, he's with dad. He is fine. He's happy playing in the beach with his cousin. Our brother-in-law, Ben, is down there with Mark. They are getting the boat in the water, getting the water line set up, and um, just getting everything ready for summer. So that's exciting. He is also filming with another YouTuber. This YouTuber that has 2 million subscribers, which is so amazing. And my boys watch him all the time. His name is Outdoor Boys. He reached out to Mark to collaborate. And so Mark is getting, uh, I'm a little bit jealous because I'm the one that's like, has the YouTube bug. Mark has been great at going along with it but he's never like gotten bit by the bug like how exciting it could be to do YouTube so this guy reached out to Mark they don't actually know each other um, but their dads ironically worked together um, and he just comes up to Alaska for periods of time he travels a lot he's a full-time youtuber they have three kids anyway so he reached out to Mark and they are hopefully going to be filming together the next two days. So how exciting is that? And Mark was texting and calling, talking on the phone with this guy and he's like, it just got him excited and like maybe a little bit nervous. <laughs> he's like, do I, is this something I wanna to commit to? Cause I told him, I said, if this, this channel, Outdoor Boys, if they call you out and say, hey, go check out the Alaska Boys channel. I said, you gotta have some stuff over there for people to watch so we gotta like we need to keep filming and putting stuff out there for that now the hard thing for mark is that he he has a full-time job he works really hard for our family so it's not this other guy this is his full-time job because he's seven eight years into his youtube journey and i said mark you know no pressure just learn from him have fun what a cool opportunity to like see somebody that's um you know doing this full time and listen to just listen to him and get some ideas and it actually sparked a lot of ideas in our minds of things that Mark's going to do this summer that he could film and how we could approach them in more of a storytelling way rather than just showing um so it's exciting because it it got Mark thinking about YouTube in a different way than um he has thought of it previously <laughs> thank you Luna for keeping me company you guys I was scrolling Instagram the other day and Instagram, oh, can I have this? Thank you. Instagram is a nut that I have not been able to crack. I just, I love this community here on YouTube. I love it when people are over there from here that then, cause it's easier to like chat back and forth on Instagram, but like actually building on Instagram I've tried for years. I tried with my previous business when I was doing home decorating. I just could never crack the code. Um, where was I going with this? Oh, yes. So I was on Instagram the other day because I like browsing it and I was posting a reel or two and there is a cat that looks just like Luna that has 199,000 followers. And they just post cute videos of this cat named Milo. And I was like, maybe Luna needs her own Instagram account. She's looking at me like, what? 
<laughs> she ran away. But I just was like, maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. Maybe I just need to use Luna <laughs> to get viewers. Not really. It just was funny to me. It was super cute. But maybe I'll be, maybe I'll put Luna on my Instagram account more. That's what it made me think. So anyways, so funny. All right, I'm going to finish folding and then I have an appointment. See, this one turned out almost entirely grays and blacks. I just know what I like, I guess. If you saw my birthday video exactly two months ago, uh, my sister and I tried to go get massages for my birthday and it didn't work out. They kept canceling on us. We're busy. We didn't. They didn't even give us options to reschedule. Anyway, so my sister ended up giving me the gift card that she was gonna use to pay for the massages. Plus, my friend from here on YouTube, Vanessa, also looked up a spa and sent me the same spa gift card um, for my birthday. So thank you so much, Vanessa. I am going to go get a massage today. I've been working out consistently for four weeks now, five to six days a week, and my body is kind of feeling it. I've had some aches and pains, so I think that a good massage will be wonderful. This is only like the third massage I've ever had in my entire life, so it's pretty exciting. So let's head to downtown Anchorage to Allure Day Spa and go get a massage. So when I get downtown, it is metered parking, but the metered parking is only two hours. And I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be in there because I booked kind of a longer massage. And then um, they said I could take a shower afterwards. So I think I'm gonna go park in the parking garage that goes to the mall. It's just across the street so that I can just pay for parking afterwards and not feel like I'm rushed because like I said, the the metered parking limits you to two hours. I'm excited. across from the parking garage is our mall, our downtown mall, which I haven't been to in years. guys when I get back home after my massage and let you know how it went I forgot to grab an extra battery Mark has the GoPros I'm out of practice for carrying this bigger camera around so I'll see you guys when I'm done well I'm done took a really long nice steam shower washed my hair 
So I'm back home doing some editing on the computer of a Costco video. This morning, Bennett needed something to do, so I said, hey, I have these bananas that are going bad. Why don't you make some banana cake, banana muffins, something? Well, he had enough time to mix it up, but he didn't have enough time to cook it. So I said, hey, just put it in the, we'll put it in the refrigerator. I'll cook them for you when you get home from school. Like, so they're hot when you come home from school. So I'm gonna get it out of the refrigerator and get it ready. Cause they'll be home in about 30 minutes. I really love these silicone muffin things um, because things come out of them so nicely. You don't lose half the muffin in the paper liner. Uh, you do have to wash them, so they're a little bit of work, but I've been really happy with them. This is my favorite banana cake recipe that he used. So yummy, I'll put a link to it down in the description below. I'll also link these if you, in case you're looking for something like this. And look at those fun colors. I have to show you guys, I got my cutting boards back from my friend. Look how cute these are. This Alaska life. And like, subscribe, and comment. How fun are these? So that we can, so you guys see that instead of, you know, while I'm chopping. I decided I'm gonna put some nuts in the second half. So I'm gonna mix some nuts into the bowl and then we'll make those. Can't find my good knife. I think it's under all the other knives in the kitchen. I mean in the, I think it's under all the other knives in the sink, so. I mean, I think it's under all the dirty dishes in the sink. Super yummy. Now I gotta go pick up Hunter. Really yummy with nuts in it. I'll grab a couple for Hunter to take with me. Good morning, friends. My week of being home alone during the day continues. Monday, I relaxed. Tuesday, Wednesday, I had appointments in Anchorage that kind of took up my whole day between going to my appointments, having lunch, making my way back home. Pretty much got home with enough time to edit each day for a little while before kids got home from school. So today, is more of a home day. I have Airbnb guests coming tonight. I've been putting the laundry through for the last three days, so it is time to go put everything together. I'll take you down there with me, and then I'm going to the gym, and then we'll see where else the day takes us. I am actually down five pounds today, so I've reached my first two goals. I am gonna do a full like weight loss, healthy lifestyle video of what I'm doing to get my life back on track, because there's some really good things. Um, but one little nugget is that I have a big weight loss goal and I've broken it down into, I'm gonna celebrate every time I lose two pounds. So um, I'm working on my third goal of losing two pounds. I'm at five pounds today. So I'm really excited to see results when I have been making some really good changes. So that is always nice to see. Let's say good morning to Miss Luna. She is having a little bath in the sunshine. Good morning, sweet girl. Hi. The snow is really melting when I drove by the, this is our raspberry patch out here when I drove by this morning. Like, we're getting close. We're getting close to being able to go work in the raspberries. So most raspberries are biannual plants, so they send up one shoot and it has leaves on it and then that has the raspberries on it the next year. So you have to cut away anything that had a fruit on it last year so that the energy can go into the new plant getting fruit and sending out the new stock for next year. Um, you can either do this in the spring or in the fall. Um, usually we try and get it done in the fall. We did nothing last year to get it ready, which was probably not the best idea because a lot of them might have gotten damaged with the huge amount of snow we had this year, but that's okay. So probably here in about a week, I'll be spending hours out there cutting away old canes. We also tie up our raspberries so that they don't fall over when they get really heavy with fruit and tall. So 
that's gonna be a big job here coming up in the next week or so. It'll be nice to have an outdoor job and we'll be celebrating that the snow is gone. All right, my bathroom is tidied. Now let's go ahead to the Airbnb. I just happened to see these as I'm walking by. This is why I can never find what I need in the kitchen because it always ends up in the weirdest spots. Mark has been so busy at the cabin. That guy came to film his YouTube video. And so I have like talked to him maybe for like five minutes in the last four days, so. I just texted him, that guy left this morning. I said, call me when you have a minute to talk. I miss you. So hopefully they're doing well. Steering me down. Enjoy your nap. With this more sunshine, longer days, I'm feeling the need to spring clean, but we'll see what I can get done. Cause I also want to be outside and I also want to get editing done and live my life and go to lunch with friends and you know, it's all about trying to find the balance. Oh. All right, here's the Airbnb. We had guests leave a couple of days ago. They've come in and done a little bit of tidying, but now it just needs a full wipe down and I need to get all this bedding that I washed, put away and put on the bed. Always check the fridge to see what people left. All right, this time I some cheese. And oh, somebody left this a while ago. We don't know what to do with it. We don't drink alcohol, but it's kind of a pretty bottle. People tend to leave condiments, and I just leave them in there because then I thought somebody might want something. Ooh, that looks good. Strawberry squeezable spoon. All right. Big job. Gotta hydrate. All right, I'm gonna move on to the bathroom. I'm not gonna show you that. We've all cleaned enough bathrooms to know that that's not a fun job. So I'm gonna get that done. Sweep, vacuum, mop the floor, and get to the gym. Hi. Hi. You wanna take a picture? Say hi. How are you? Good. I love you. Love you too. I miss you. I miss you too. Did you have fun with your new friend? Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad. with me so I get the right ones. I'm waiting on the last load of laundry, but I think I'm gonna go to the gym. It's the bath mats and one more towel. I'm gonna to go to the gym and finish it up when I get home. No point in waiting around for 30 minutes for the laundry to get done, but everything else is nice and clean. Check that off my list of things to do. Hi friends, just got back from the gym. Decided to go to Walmart on my way home because I needed to grab a few things. I ended up in the Easter aisle. And funny thing is, I went 
to Walmart on Saturday evening and they had barely any Easter stuff. They must have found stuff on a different aisle or something. These were like 25 cents for these big bags. This is my favorite time to buy any sort of seasonal stuff is right after because everything's so cheap. Everything was like 75% off. So these were less than 50 cents. Got a couple different sprinkles, cute little bunnies, cute little carrots. Now I will put them all in the Easter tub and we'll pull them out next year and I won't be running around trying to find stuff. So that's my favorite time to buy any sort of holiday stuff. And then I got some random things. I've been having some hip pain. So I rolled out at the gym today and it felt so good. But when I usually want to do it, it's like late at night. And so I grabbed myself one of those, grabbed some strawberries for a salad I'm about to make. The Airbnb needed trash bags, so I bought some new trash bags for the Airbnb. And some ranch for Weston. I'm gonna try this new chunky blue cheese yogurt dressing. It has a ton less calories. I'll let you know if it's any good. And then grab this one. I'm gonna try this with my salad today. Blush wine vinaigrette. Some more red onions, because I love red onions on salads. And then here's a little sneak peek of something for a 10,000 giveaway. I'm gonna be doing a big giveaway here soon. So come back and see that. And then I bought a big bag of marshmallows because we're getting into the point where we like to go outside and have fires and we need to have marshmallows on hand. So that's my little Walmart haul. All right, we're waiting outside of Hunter School. I'm gonna take these three older boys to go see a movie because well, we can. What movie are you wanting to go see? Sonic 2. All right, so we're trying to decide if we go to the five o'clock movie or the 720, how to fit in dinner, all that good stuff. So we'll figure it out. Hunters, I just see him coming. He is doing after school mountain biking and he is having a blast doing that. So we have to come pick him up right now. Biking is really light bikes. Okay, please purchase tickets at the concession stand. Hunters, can you cheat? Wait, that's the screen. Okay, we got a drink to share. Some popcorn. Yeah, it's a riser group, but that's Westy. What are we going to see? Sonic 2. Okay, we're seats. F. You like picking on little guys, huh? Well, I am a master. Alright, the video the movie just started. We watched, you know, 25 minutes of previews. They're out of drink and popcorn, so I'm gonna go get our free refill. Right, time to go back in. Did you like the movie? Mm-hmm. What was the surprise at the end? There's what? gonna be Sonic 3. There's gonna be a third one? I wasn't surprised. Did you like the movie, Bennett? Yeah. Maybe I wish we could get up there. All right, ready? Yeah. I had to put my bath on hold to help Hunter with some pre-algebra, which makes both of our brains hurt. Um, but we're on the last problem and we're trying to see what's in the book, but... My teacher um, says... Miss Luna, hold on, Miss Luna is sitting right on the problems that we're needing to do. Huh? And his teacher will not let him use a calculator and it's all square roots and irrational number, which, which are like numbers that don't have an end. Because she says they're not always going to have a calculator. But we were laughing because she has this table of square roots. Am I going to have that crumple up in the back like, of my pocket? We're, we're like, <laughs> we were, maybe we're just really tired. But we were laughing because like nowadays with cell phones, we really do have calculators in our pockets all the time. What we're not going to have in our pockets are a list of all the square roots of <laughs> every number 100 through, or 1 through 150. So... <laughs> I understand the sentiment of his teacher, but like some of these numbers are insane. Negative square root of 67 over four. 
what was that one? Um, Negative 4.902, and then it keeps going. And you can't use a calculator. I'm totally using it. We're, it's 1045 at night. We are using a calculator. <laughs> and then he has to put them in a number line, so. You got this, Hunter. Well, Luna at least moved to that side of the box. <laughs> are you wanting us to be done? Are you wanting us to be done? The runner. Okay. Sweet girl. She's she's keeping you company. <laughs> she's like. I want to stay up late. She keeps you company. All right, Hunter's gone to bed. Back to where we were. I'm glad I went and checked on him before I... I didn't think I could take a bath without having a visitor, huh? All right, friends, I went to the gym this morning. I'm gonna go make a lunch really quick. I'm blow drying my hair, got dressed. I'm gonna go do one last thing for myself as I'm home alone this week. I'm gonna go get a pedicure because my toenails need it. We need to get them ready for spring and summer sandal weather. So I'm gonna rush through this, make myself an amazing salad, and then head into town. All right, got myself ready. Got my beautiful bag. I figured it matched my green outfit today too. This was from my last video. First time out using it. My little date with myself. <laughs> All right, let's go get my toes painted and my feet scrub. That's the best part, is the feet scrub. All right, got some beautiful new pink toes. All right, friends, if you've ever seen any of the Shop With Me videos where I go to a local shop called Revive, I'm always sniffing the soaps. A lot of soaps, they're my favorite. I love sending them to people. And today I'm coming directly to the source. I bought some for our gift box. So I'm coming directly to the source to grab them. She's not gonna show us how she makes the soap today. We're gonna save that for a future video because she wasn't making any this week, but I am gonna go grab some beautiful Alaska soap. All right, friends, I have the most beautiful box of soaps. I have about, I think, five different soaps in here. That was so nice getting to meet her. We'll come back one day soon and see how her business goes, how she makes her soaps. She makes them in her kitchen while her kids are at school. Such a great, I just love entrepreneurs and love seeing their talents. Oh, we're having sushi for lunch. One more night of no cooking for mom. <laughs> Some yummy sushi. Does that make you excited? Yes, I love sushi. All right, it's Saturday morning. Um, I went and worked out this morning, and while I was gone, the boys had the responsibility of putting away all their laundry. And when I got back, if they had put away their laundry, I brought them some donuts. So they enjoyed some donuts, and I had eggs and toast. Now Weston and I are gonna do some reading for a book report. We've gotta get through his book, so we're gonna cuddle up and read. It's the pike where... It's the park. It's the pike, the pike. Where Kayla, Car, Kayla? Kayla. Kayla takes me to play distance. This detective. Detef detective. You'd be surprised how many mysteries were I to solve in the park. Look who's back! My effort! <laughs> I missed you. I miss you too. You're a bit stinky. Did you take any baths at the cabin? But, a whole five days with no bath. But good thing that I'm making a shower house. You're making a shower house at the cabin? <gasps> now they can see us. Aww. Oh, look at that. 
<gasps> Look how handsome you are. Mm -hmm. I think you grew up while you were gone. Yeah, I did. I think you're bigger. It's just... And more handsome and more cute, cute, if that's even possible. <laughs> I like talking to you on the phone, but I like hugging you even better. Mom, say goodbye, person. Thanks for the cuddles. Do you want to go take a bath? <laughs> no, not yet. Oh, and look at that cute boy. I'm working on a Costco video. And Bennett's hard at work at a book report. Church is tomorrow. Today's Saturday. Church is tomorrow. Hi, Dad. Welcome home. The stairs at the cabin are like a ladder, pretty much. They're very dangerous. So Wes Everett keeps talking about how these stairs at home seem really different. They seem very different. There he is. Hi, hi, hon. We're back. A little uh, stinkier, a little. The house seems so huge and beautiful and nice. <laughs> well, friends, thank you so much for spending this week with me. It was it was a nice treat to just be able to do whatever I felt like doing, at least from the hours of 9 to 3.30 every day. But I sure missed Mark and I sure missed Everett and I'm happy to have them back. Thank you so much for spending time with me this week and I'll see you again real soon for more of this Alaska Life.